You're watching the Auction Network. We've shown you lions that dabble in paint, sea lions who flip over art, and elephants who could compete with Van Gogh. But the Auction Network's tour of the wild world of art by animals is just getting started. Auction Network and the Association of Zoos and Aquariums proudly presents the first ever collection and auction of art by animals. You can register to bid on any of the art in the show at auctionnetwork.com. You can leave an absentee bid or watch the live auction on September 16th on auctionnetwork.com. Penguins, sea lions, polar bears, elephants, chimps, giraffes, and anteaters. These are just a handful of our lovable artists who have submitted artwork for your consideration. From Florida to California, these artists in residence paint for fun and entertainment. The painting is fun for the birds because they get to chase something that they like and they make beautiful artwork and they're having fun with it. Animal enrichment programs are not only for smaller animals. Mickey is a 22-year-old female African elephant from the Louisville Zoo. She enjoys sharing her creative time with her son, Scotty. Just a few hundred miles away, Babe, the Asian elephant, spends her afternoons creating masterpieces. Babe is one of two Asian elephants housed at Niabi Zoo in Illinois. She came to Niabi in early 2000 from the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus Center for elephant conservation in Florida. Babe enjoys activities such as daily swims in her pool and painting. Let's swing back across the country to the East Coast for a TV star turned artist. Kendall is a nine-year-old male chimpanzee who lives at the North Carolina Zoo. Kendall was hand-raised and trained for use in movies, television, and live animal shows. He became famous at the age of four when he selected the winning number for Pepsi's Billion Dollar Sweepstakes. He even appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show. When Kendall arrived in May 2007, he had never been exposed to normal chimpanzee behavior. Because of his rearing, Kendall has had to learn how to act like a chimp. You might expect lot number 24 to be skinny and long, but art does not always impersonate life. The artist is Benghazi, a 12-year-old male reticulated giraffe. Benghazi has learned to paint as part of the Oakland Zoo's highly advanced giraffe training program. In a collection of very unique artwork, this next lot stands or slithers all by itself. This art was created by a female ground boa who lives at the Dorley Zoo in Nebraska. She is 15 years old. The canvas was spray painted khaki by keepers and then the non-toxic finger paint is squirted on the canvas. The snake then moves through the paint, leaving scale marks in the paint. From painting boas to royalty, our next artist has real blue blood. Duchess is a Bornean orangutan who has lived most of her life at the Phoenix Zoo. She is almost 48 years old, which makes her one of the oldest orangutans in the country. Duchess uses a paintbrush and canvas. She is given a choice of colors to use, and she picks which of the colors to use in her painting. Duchess has definite preferences of color depending on the day and her mood. She has been known to christen her paintings with a mouthful of water, as she has done with this particular painting entitled, After the Rain. Duchess may be picky about her paintings, but nowhere close to Ziggy, the porcupine from the Pueblo Zoo. Ziggy is a five-year-old male porcupine. Although Ziggy has been painting for less than one year, he is truly a professional. Ziggy lives in an enclosure with two turkey vultures. His keeper tapes off a section of canvas, puts the paint on, and Ziggy knows what to do next. An empty canvas is one of our next artist's favorite things. Sergio is a Humboldt penguin who lives at the Rosamont Gifford Zoo. This playful penguin Picasso really loves to paint. He is confident, clever, and charismatic. When he's not painting, he enjoys diving for tennis balls in his 50,000-gallon swimming pool. The family that paints together stays together. That's the personal motto for half-brothers, Harry and Hakuna, two meerkats from the San Diego Children's Zoo. Harry is three years old and Hakuna is two years old. They are also friendly enough to provide up-close encounters at educational programs and special activities. Some artists are more reclusive with their painting like Jafari, a six-year-old cheetah at the Scoville Zoo. Jafari shares an exhibit with his brother, Runako. 
Both cheetahs came from the Cheetah and Wildlife Trust in South Africa. As part of the agreement with the trust, the Scoville Zoo donates five cents of every zoo admission to help fund the organization's 10-year study of free-roaming cheetahs in the wild. Painting is just one of the many forms of animal enrichment at zoos and aquariums across the country. Animal enrichment can include mealtime target training, dinner and a show, hide and seek, or a classic game of cat and mouse. Enrichment is important, um, and the training too, just because it, from a husbandry standpoint, it helps us keep the animals healthy, it helps us also watch them, see them in an active situation where we can make sure that they are moving around as they should and using adaptations. We also will try different scents, we'll uh, sometimes take uh, logs from one animal's exhibit and put them in with another animal and it um, kind of gives them something to think about. They smell it, it's something different, they're not used to it, um, and it, it makes them more alert um, and active through the day. Um, so we can just monitor their behavior and their health in a more efficient way. No matter what animal zookeepers are working with, they all enjoy the creative outlet. Our next piece of art was a group effort. It was completed by Kingamole, Fritz, and PJ, the three male meerkats from the Scoville Zoo. Kingamole is nine years old, and Fritz and PJ are both seven years old. Fritz and PJ are relative newcomers arriving in February 2008 from the Knoxville Zoo. When they are not painting, these delightful animals can be found searching for their favorite treats, any sort of bugs they can find. From African plains to the Arctic Circle, our next artist rules the world's ice caps. Aurora is a female polar bear at the Seneca Park Zoo in Rochester. She was born in 1989 and came from Utah's Hogle Zoo when she was two years old. Aurora loves chasing live fish as an enrichment but won't eat heads or gills. She is very smart and rules the roost that she shares with Yukon. Aurora currently weighs 632 pounds, has had four cubs that have gone on to other zoos, and her favorite toy is a plastic green turtle sandbox. Our next four artists don't weigh nearly as much and have a very different way to paint. Sunset Zoo's chimpanzees paint by licking the paint off of the canvas. Sometimes Hazina uses her fingers to reach the paint that is too far away to lick. The three females, Hazina, Hasusa, and Susie, are more interested in painting than our male, Julian. He's new to painting and a little cautious about touching the paint except for red. He has no problems painting with that color. Hazina is the dominant one of the group. She is also the troublemaker and the sneakiest of the group. Hasusa is the most stubborn of the group and she catches on to things the quickest. She is Julian's buddy, and you can see them together most of the time. Julian's favorite thing to do is show off any wounds or injuries that he has, and he is the protector of the group. From fingers to feet, this framed and matted piece of original animal art is a footprint created by the happy feet of Peep, a Gentoo 2 penguin. Made using white, green, and blue non-toxic paint on black poster board, the artwork also includes textured scratches made as this brush-tailed penguin dragged her stiff tail through the paint. Peep is a curious 17-year-old female Gentoo that inhabits Penguin's Rock at the Tennessee Aquarium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. She is one of only two Gentoo penguins who choose to paint as an animal enrichment activity. When painting was first introduced, Peep had cold feet and was very skittish, but after several sessions, she became more comfortable with walking in paint. While some artists stomp out their creativity, others approach it with a precision of Monet. Harvey, a 49-year-old male chimpanzee at the Toledo Zoo, has been demonstrating his artistic abilities for years. His painting is part of his quiet time activities, and his keepers say that it's great to watch his approach to painting. As he makes little grooming noises, he carefully chooses his colors and brushes, and he appears to be careful to ensure that each work of art is just how he wants it. While some prefer to move slowly on their art, other artists flip over the amount of paintings they can make for their fans. Peter the Harbor Seal moved to the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center in 1996. The oldest of five, he began his artistic endeavors in 2004, and his body of work to date includes more than 250 paintings. He prefers to work in bold, vertical strokes, favoring the primary colors. Like most artists, he is temperamental and will sometimes refuse to paint with green, 
despite the fact that he is completely colorblind. Animal enrichment programs can even soothe the biggest of the jungle beasts. Billy is a western lowland gorilla who lives at the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas. Now 18 years old and weighing in at approximately 430 pounds, Billy is sociable, likes to watch people closely, and can appear to be playful. Painting is an enriching activity, keeping him active and engaged. His gentle side comes out during these sessions, which makes painting with him very fun and rewarding. Painting seemed like the perfect choice to allow a gorilla to express his creativity. One of Billy's fellow lowland gorillas has made it to the big time. Okpara, also known as Oki, is a western lowland gorilla who currently resides at Franklin Park Zoo in Boston. Oki began to finger paint when he was 12 years old as an enrichment exercise designed to provide intellectual stimulation. His medium is non-toxic finger paints on paper. In the summer of 2007, a retrospective of Oki's work was exhibited at Franklin Park Zoo's Tropical Forest Pavilion. Oki's paintings have sold for between $1,500 and $10,000. From big bucks to small beaks, lot number 39 is painted by Nachalo, a Siberian crane chick hatched at Franklin Park Zoo. Nachalo is a result of artificial insemination and is being hand raised by zoo staff. Nachalo uses her beak to peck out her artwork. As you can see, the artwork and the way the artists create it is as varied as the species creating them. Don't leave your perch. We'll be back with more about the upcoming Art by Animals auction from AZA and Auction Network right after this. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com. 